It's Friday morning, and the little Willie's Nine Love in a Time of Corona Love Gang is three days old, and her little happy gang is going to be a year old tomorrow. Or actually, I think I've lost track of time already. Uh, yesterday they were a year old, and today these guys are three days old. And again, anyone that knows me in 30 years of breeding, this is only our seventh litter and counting Dobermans. The rest have been Staffords, but we've never bred two years in a row before, but we were just following all the veterinary advice uh, that it's healthiest. And obviously it seems to be working because I don't know if we lost the 10th puppy just purely to accident because there were sure no signs that anything was off. And I'm thinking Willie rolled on her. She's been real cautious now, but I'm still not sleeping because I'm scared. But Al and I were doing shifts, so it's working out well. Anyway, first there's my beautiful, precious Willie. That is grand champion number 14 Staffordshire Bull Terrier in the country last year, leaving with that litter of eight from the Happy Gang. And that right there is Shasta's River of Love. And when it comes to people, there couldn't be anything further than the truth further from the truth, meaning it's the truth. <laughs> I'm tired, but the best dog with people ever and the best mama to puppies ever, but she's not really great with other dogs, unfortunately. It's something common in the breed, but grandma didn't have it, and I don't think Asher would have had it, but he picks up off of Sissy. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys some individuals right there. I believe I need to look at the top of the head. Yeah, right there with his little tongue hanging out is my what I'm calling my mini Ash. He is Ross, Shasta's stop in the name of love. And right here is Elvis, which is Shasta's hunk of hunk of burning love. And next to Elvis is, I have to see the neck to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's my Shasta's love her madly, Robbie. And next to her for sure is Bowie. He's easy because he's Shasta's modern love and he has the diamond head, which I remember because of David Bowie's song, Diamond Dogs. And then right there is Shasta's All You Need Is Love with the big old white on the left side of his head. I call him JP for um, John and Paul, of course, McCartney. And then right there, vigorously going at it, I believe is Adele. Unless that's Robbie, because I figured out that Adele and Robbie, or not Robbie, but Adele and Ross are also twins. So that might right there be Ross, and we might have, I think that's right, we already looked at Adele, which is Shasta's Send Me, Send My Love. And then see the two twins with the heads that look almost identical, that uh, Ross is sandwiched in between. Those two are twins also, brother and sister and it cracks me up to see how much alike they look. So from here, I can't even tell, but I think the one on my left is Love Her Madly, uh, and I do for sure. She's my little one, kind of, not really, but the littlest. Look at her little precious pushing her leg. She Shasta's Love Her Madly, and I call her Robbie for the guitars from The Doors who wrote that song. And then there's her twin, Love Is The Answer. For Todd Rundgren, I call him Todd, and I love that name, Todd. Um, and then right there is, to the left, is uh, with the left eye patch, is, um, oh my gosh, who am I forgetting? The left eye patch. Give me a minute, you guys. I may have to look at my cheat sheet. I'm under pressure here. Oh no, that's Mojo. That's also um, Shasta's Hello, I Love You, named after Jim Morrison's <laughs> nickname, Mojo Rising. But anyway, there we have it, everybody. And people sometimes ask me, good girl, Willie, you precious angel. She love him. She wants to stretch out and make room for the babies. Anyway, um, people sometimes ask me why I name them. Most people don't ask that. Most people are fine with it, but everyone's well, because someone, why do you name them? And 
before you send them off. And gosh, I can't imagine without it because for so many reasons. But one, I really believe that when you individuate them, you give extra special attention every time you pick them up and any kind of buddy that might be hindering or floundering. Right, Elvis? Not you, because Elvis is the king. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then, uh, anyway, I think that helps them. And also, nobody's ever had a problem with them changing, oh, their names or anything. And did I forget somebody down in there? Oh, no, that's the twin. He just relocated. Um, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, I think... Um, I think um, nobody's ever had a problem. I do love it when some people keep the names, and some people do. Uh, but most people do change them, and that's fine, too. Actually, I think it's about half and half. People keep the names, and some just uh, and half change them. And, of course, the registered name stays the same, but the call name, like Todd, Elvis, whatever, it doesn't have to be staying. Although Elvis, you sure seem to fit as the king. He was the firstborn, so it makes some sense, too. And I'm loving looking at, let's see, do I see a little, is that, that is Ross, the airline there with the, so that means Adele, good, Adele's really going at it, she's no slight little girl. Um, so now I have to tell people that Adele and, and then right next to Adele, sandwiched in between Ross and the twin Adele, is um, Little Love Her Madly. And I know that because she's my most read with just the feather. Um, and she is Robbie. So there we have it now. I've got Ross, because I think I do see the little peepee, -pee, and then Adele, or Ross, and then um, Robbie, and then Adele. But I gotta take pictures later because I actually have two sets of twins. Now, Ross and Adele are very similar. And so, of course, over there, like we saw, is um, the, uh, um, Robbie and Todd. Robbie and Todd. All right, here we go. This is a long one. Henrietta, I hope you like it. All right, bye.